Oh no. <laughs> Since I messed up. I got a zipper! You don't. I don't have it! <laughs> <laughs> that is such a beautiful palette. We made a pillow cover. <laughs> Hey guys, Charlani here. Today, we're jumping right in. In today's video, we are making some pillows. We are a little bit of a mess here, <laughs> but that's okay. So this is the first pillow that I am going to attempt to put together. This is the material that I'm using. It is so pretty. So we've already cut out. I'm gonna make an 18 by 18 inch pillow. We have already cut the fabric out. What I wanna do first is finish off this edge, but I need to practice because I don't know how to do that. Now, listen, you guys, I am super new to this. This is the first time I'm ever attempting to sew a throw pillow. So we'll have to see how this all comes out, but I'm very excited about it because I feel like if I can get this down it just opens the door to so many opportunities, so many options of the different kind of pillow covers I can make. So we're gonna dive in. Now, I just uh, ironed this piece of fabric and I'm just gonna practice on getting the edges to not fray, if you can kind of see that there. So I'm gonna practice on this scrap piece of material before I pull that over here. So let's get to it. I'm trying out all the different stitch options. So I'm going in and I'm trying the different zigzag settings. My machine has a bunch of different sewing options. So I'm testing them out to see what they do, um, what they look like, what they feel like. And I've looked on Google and YouTube. I've done a little bit of research and there are lots of different ways to finish off the hems or the ends of the fabrics to keep them from fraying. And even though I know that you're not gonna be able to see the inside of a throw pillow cover, I still wanna make the best pillow cover I can. And I know that it'll be better quality and probably last longer if those ends aren't um, fraying. So if I close off those edges, I just, I think it's just gonna last a little bit longer. So here we're trying to figure that out. I also can't say it enough about how grateful I am to the creators out there in the world who share their knowledge on how to do things. Everything I've learned so far about sewing has been from something I learned on the internet. I'm telling you now, if you wanna learn how to do something, fix something, create something, design something, the internet is your best friend and greatest teacher. So if you're willing to put in the time to learn and follow direction, you can absolutely learn how to do anything. In this video, I'm clearly learning how to do things. So I don't have my rhythm or my process down, but I know in time I'm gonna get there. So I'm not rushing this process. In fact, I'm taking my time and I'm enjoying the process of learning as I go. Oh no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's way too small. Cause this is the zipper. There's, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get close enough. <laughs> Dang it. I cut it too close. Now I don't have, like right here, it got really thin. It's not enough. Okay, ripper. <laughs> that is not a long enough stitch. No, we're gonna go for it. We're just gonna do it. Do this over it anyway? Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. Ah, we're talking. I was thinking, can't you let the zipper just overhang a little bit? Yeah, but it's seamed because what I do is you do it like this so that you don't see the zipper at all when the pillow is just a pillow. How are you going to get to the zipper? You, because I stitched it with long stitches. So you take this, but I'm wondering with this kind of material if that's not a good idea. 
I guess you have to open it up for the zipper to be there? Yeah, you open it and then the zipper's there. It's so that when you sew this on, this lays closed. So you don't even know that there's a zipper there, but see how I, it's just too thin and you can't get that close to this or else then the teeth will get all wonky. I got thinking, you, I see, I see it's reversed. Yeah, so I'm thinking I might, cause I'm also wondering that doesn't seem like it's gonna be easy for me to take that out. Cause see, look, this is what she does. She just rips right through it and I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to rip through it like How that. How does she rip through it? Watch. With the cutter? See, yeah, right here. Take out the basting stitches. And Have that down. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go yeah, yeah. this. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I want to do this. I didn't now. leave enough of I'm going this to do a back material. Stitch, I, and then I'm going to yeah. So that's oh why God. I'm wondering yeah, if you, I should right just here. redo a side, like this, and redo a side with the zipper and do it right and let this just be like the top of the pillow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you should do this side now. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Gonna do. Yeah, how are you going to sew it though? The second edge of the fabric. Inside, you how are you going to do it? Down. Inside out? Oh yeah, foot, so I need to do that. I am literally figuring this out as I go. I'm watching videos and I'm following along as best I can, but there's definitely a learning curve here. I'm also very aware that I can totally just stitch the bottom closed, but the whole point of learning how to do this is so that I can make lots of covers and change them out with different fabrics and switch up the vibe of my home decor whenever I want. So in my opinion, a, a zipper is needed. So since I messed up and I have to <laughs> open this and iron this flat so that I can stick the zipper in there, I'm just using this part of the ironing board because you could see that <laughs> this side, I didn't leave enough room here for the zipper to be sewn in right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and flip it around. No big deal. I had a vision in mind on exactly what I wanted the final outcome of the zipper to look like. I want all my zippers to be black, no matter the color of the fabric or the material that I'm using. I'm going for a signature look here, but that means that it's important to sew it correctly and straight so that the fabric sits on the teeth and you can't see when the pillow is a pillow. The bottom line here is that I'm trying to create the look of like an invisible zipper, but using a more heavy duty all purpose zipper because I don't want this zipper to be dainty. My thought is that I'm gonna switch these out all the time, so I need it to be sturdy and rugged. I don't wanna worry about the teeth or seam ripping when I'm shoving a pillow insert into it. I want it to be durable. So when I went to Pottery Barn a few days ago, I looked at how their pillows were sewn and I studied the zippers and the buttons and the different types of closures. And I did, I thought to myself, this could be better. <laughs> so here we are. You know what, we're gonna have to just hand sew this one closed. This is supposed to be stitched onto this back side, just this one and this right here uh -huh. and this, but not this. That's why you do the zipper first. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so now so just cut this one and reopen it. Because, well, because this one up here is back stitched. Like this one is super sewn in. Like I back stitched all of that, so it's gonna be really hard to rip it open. I'm gonna have to try, but I'm also thinking maybe this just be a regular pillow. No, zip just no hand, zipper? Yeah, no zipper and I'll just hand sew it. I think you cut this open. I'm gonna try. Let me try. The zipper would be a nice addition. It's yeah. a little more skillful. You have enough on this one for both sides too. So you just have to yeah. go for, you have to just go for right. the cut you if you were making sure you weren't sewing it through the other side. 
I was just going to ask you literally when I walked over and here. you know when I did that? When I readjusted that very last time because it's right here. Oh, then you're okay. I was just going to say before you even did that last little bit, you're not so into the side. And I looked, I was like, no, it looks good. And I don't want to interrupt you. It's literally right here. Yeah, you're good. I just started grabbing it. How do I take it out? I'm thinking before you do this, Let me think. I'm thinking you pull it away get it off from sewing it again and then cut that last little bit but then it's going to cut the zipper it's the same string or it's the same thread but i don't know if i have it or if the zipper is just holding no i have it <laughs> i'm pretty no i don't know i don't know if i have it or not you don't i don't have it <laughs> <laughs> it was just cinching it as it was getting close <gasps> That's a pretty good straight knife yeah, line. Yeah, I'm glad you went to the side because the zipper was getting close. is everything. Let's put a pillow in it. Here we go. So she is right here, but look at, this is the store-bought one. Tell me there's a difference. Well, that one's a little bit bigger, but tell me there's a difference in quality. No way. <laughs> I am so excited. So, we are going to make more throw pillows right here. We need more, we need more. And let me show you what I've got. How beautiful are these fabrics? This is my favorite. And what's really cool about this one, see if I can show you, is that look at, it's actually reversible. This side is just as beautiful as this side. So we got that one. This one I may have shown you already. This is my scrap, but I may have shown you this one already. Um, but I got this a few days ago. I was gonna do a test pillow on this, but we ended up just going for it. <laughs> and then I also have this one. So I'm thinking for that sofa that I just showed you, these three plus the one plus this one right here, this color. I think that is such a beautiful palette. I was gonna stop there, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just make another one, one more. But I love this, like these colors. So I think we're gonna make this pillow cover. And if I feel up to it, then with that creamier color, we'll make this size. Cause this is not my favorite. It's just not my favorite. <laughs> so maybe we'll do one or two more. We have the rest to sew, but <laughs> zipper. This has been one of my absolute favorite projects I've ever taken on. It's melding my love of decor and design and styling up my home with also using the creative and crafty side of me as well. This is winning on so many levels and I cannot wait to hit up fabric stores and really try to create my own brand of beautiful pillows that have a classy, timeless, 
tropical vibe and earthy and rustic tones. And this palette that I'm working with right here is giving me all the happy feels. I did look online. I scoured the internet for exactly what I was looking for and wanting, and I just couldn't find it. So who knows? Maybe this is something in store for the future. So many options of things we can do with this. My level of proud right now. The fact that I know how to do a zipper just makes me so happy. Absolutely love how these have come out. All the fabric I got at Hobby Lobby, everything was 40% off. So each of these, so I got a yard of all of the different um, fabrics. On the bigger ones, I used a little more than half of what I got. So I'm not gonna be able to make two more of those size pillows, but I am gonna go back and I'm going to get another yard and then I can make smaller pillows with like the remnants of what I have left over after making big ones. So this was a project that I have been wanting to tackle for months and I just keep putting it off. I did wanna bring down my sewing machine but I kind of feel like this has just unearthed something in me that makes me so happy. And what I love about the process of it is the hardest part is putting the zipper on and figuring out all of those different steps. And then once you have the zipper on and then you're like, oh, accomplishment. And then you just have to quickly uh, sew the rest of it, which is super simple, very easy. Listen, this was obviously not a step-by-step -step tutorial. There are so many other people on YouTube who will do that way better than I ever could, but <laughs> I'm so happy. All right, guys, I will eventually and in the next vlog or we'll do a video down the road where I show you the rest of the pillows that we make. It'll probably, you know what, it'll probably be in a short coming up soon and I'll show all of the pillows that I end up making. So I will do, like for example, we also have this pillow right here and this was an Amazon buy, this cover and you can see obviously it's really dark but it goes along with these pillows as well. So we're just, oh, we have so many options. I'm like, we're gonna make pillows for the bedroom. We've got chairs around the house. Everybody's gonna get pillows. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any tips for me, if you have any favorite videos that you like about sewing throw pillows, please send them my way. I would love that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.